So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick story to on my channel. So a possible fight could be made between former WBC super middleweight champion Badu Jack and current WBA regular light heavyweight champion Nathan Cleverley. And I think this could be a really good fight, both fighters have good work rates, both guys can come together and have a fight and I think it could be really interesting, both guys are not particularly big punchers so I think if this fight does happen it would go 12 rounds, I'm slightly favouring Badu Jack in the fight because Badu Jack's style, even though it's very basic and it's very fundamental um, it's very effective, like he has a basic jab, basic defence, basic, basic movement so it's interesting to see how he'll get on at 175 pounds because he wasn't a big puncher at 168 pounds he's coming off a draw against james de gale in his last fight and that was a very good fight that was probably one of the best super middleweight fights we've seen in the past 10 15 years and both guys put on a tremendous fight james de gale started off very quick in that fight but then faded in the back end of the fight and I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that James Aguil overtrains in my opinion like a lot of people have confirmed that James Aguil spars many many rounds in training camp more than most fighters and he trains a lot more than most fighters like he goes hard when he trains James Aguil but when he gets into a fight he doesn't seem as fresh so when he gets into the back end of a fight, James Aguil, he tends to fade. And that could be down to over training or the fact he's not very strong as a super middleweight, James Aguil. Like, he's an actual super middleweight, but he's not a very strong super middleweight, whereas Badu Jack was, and he was a massive super middleweight. But then you have Nathan Cleverley, who is a good fighter, doesn't do anything too tremendous in there, but he has very quick hands. Nathan Cleverley, I think he's very quick for a light heavyweight. He's always in good condition for fights. Nathan Cleverley, he can go 12 rounds very easily. Like when he fought Andres Van Fora, that was an absolute war. Both guys broke the record for the compu box. Most punches ever thrown. Most punches thrown in a light heavyweight title fight. And yeah, it was a very good fight. And even in his fight against Jurgen Bremer, that was a very close fight. Both guys going at it. And Jurgen Bremer had to pull out with an injury and he lost his WBA title to Nathan Cleverley. And Nathan Cleverley hasn't fought since and that was in October of last year. So when Nathan Cleverley eventually does fight Badu Jack, it will be a year. And apparently Floyd Mayweather wants it to be on the undercard of him and Conor McGregor if that fight happens. So that fight would get a lot of exposure even though it's only a regular title fight. And it puts the winner in a position to fight the winner of Andre Ward and Sergei Kovalev. Because the WBA regular belt, in my opinion, is just an interim title fight. Because it's just an interim title, in my opinion. Because eventually you get mandated to fight the super champion. So it is kind of like an interim belt. You're just waiting to fight the main champion. And it could put the winner of that fight in a good position to fight Ward or Kovalev. Whoever wins that fight. And... Both guys have decent chins, even though Badu Jack has been knocked out in the past against Derek Edwards since that fight. He hasn't looked hurt or anything in fights, and he has took shots clean. He was dropped by James DeGale, but that was more of a flash knockdown, and he managed to knock James DeGale down in the 12th round as well. Nathan Cleverley has only ever been stopped once as a fighter as, as well as a pro fighter, and that was against Sergei Kovalev, and at the end of the day, that was Sergei Kovalev. Sergei Kovalev hits like a horse kick, so it's not really a big shot that Nathan Cleverley could get stopped by Sergei Kovalev. But since then, he's lost. He lost to Tony Bellew on a split decision. He lost to UD to Andres Von Fara. So it'll be interesting that fight. I think it could end up being a war and it could end up catching fire. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. What do you think of this fight?